F420 did it. All right, bedtime story, guys. Let's go ahead and read the TF2 comic together. I'm going to disclaimer this by saying that I, oh, hi, that I do not recall what the voices were that I did last time. So, uh, they probably won't be the same as I did last time, uh, for all the different characters, but I'll try, and, uh, let's go ahead and read our bedtime story, okay? Okay, hang on, let me eat beef. Um. All right, there's the scout, there's the soldier, there's the pirate running away. He probably doesn't like the snow. And there's the heavy suplexing a bear. Cool. All right. Oh, wait. Team Fortress 2, Part 3, A Cold Day in Hell. Team Fortress, number 3, Valve. Click image or use spacebar to advance. Okay. What? Wait, 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 wait. My mouse is freaking out. One sec. Let me see if I can fix that. There we go. There we go. Fixed it. Okay. All right. Doink. Yes, I know this man. But to find him now would be your death. If the storms do not kill you, the mountains will. He comes here every month for supplies. Are you sure you will not wait for him? Your interrogation techniques won't work on this GI, comrade. I've been in the POW camps voluntarily, and every last one of them broke before I did and asked me to leave. Do you hear that, communist listening devices? You can't stop us from finding our friend. At least take these coats. Please do not die. Eyes, I'm going to stop you right there. That probably says Soviet or Stalin, socialism. This is a propaganda coat. You see this old woman? This is an American coat made by an American company. It is good. It is strong. It is rip. Tatter, tatter, tatter. I am too cold to pick that up. Do not touch it. I don't want you reverse engineering our American coat technology. Uh, I do low key scout when I read the scout. Just FYI. How'd it go? They know where heavy is? Did they have any coats? You did ask about coats, right? Pa! We don't need directions. We know he lives in the mountains, right? Pyro's got a fire. Standard. Well, they're not hard to miss. Move out! I swear to God, if they had coats in there. Part 3. A Cold Day in Hell. Da -na 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 -na. Oh, I forgot, the, I forgot the voices I was doing for these guys. Sexton, Margaret, do come in. I was just reading a classic work of literature. It's one of mine. Charles Swearwording Darling Mags? You were working for Charles Swearwording's Darling? It's more complicated than that. I... Is it, Margaret? I think it couldn't be simpler. Tell me, Saxton, do you like my mountings? Ha! <laughs> when did you start fighting swearwording animals? All right, the swearing's getting a little excessive. Why don't we all take our foot off the swear pedal? Anyway, these animals aren't dead. They're just sad. I made them stand on boxes, you see, so I can look into their hilarious, defeated eyes anytime I like. A Himalayan wild beast? A snow leopard? But all of these animals, animals are extinct. Yes, almost, yes. They're the last of their breeds, actually. When they die, their kind will be gone forever. Unless... 
there was a way to make them immortal. I'll get you ba I'll get you Manco back, Saxton. If you can get me Australium. Australium? That's all you want? I've got tons of that stuff back in your vault. Yes, it's gone. I trust you remember your administrative associate. Helen? Sure. Buys hats and guns for me. Works with the Mercs. Why? It turns out she's been doing a bit more than that. Playing two old gravel magnets against each other, establishing thousands of shell companies, filling entire coal mines with bodies. And over the course of 150 years, stockpiling the largest supply of Australium in the world, which... Over the course of 150 years? <laughs> Is she that old? Which raises the obvious question. Uh, why? You! This is all your fault! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> ho ho ho, you'll starve before you reach me, soldier! So says Christopher, the communist of the mountain! You will get closer when I crawl towards you, mountain! That is an order! Eh? Why would you be starving, sol- Why would you be starving, soldier? Siberia is a land of plenty. <laughs> it turned into a pie. No. Your hands? No! Your friends. You okay, pal? I need you to listen very carefully, giant hot dog. I am going to eat you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Listen, stop being crazy for a second and check it out. Pyro found out what happened to Amelia Earhart. Even found me something so I can wear to stop freezing to death. Check out these muster lines. Check out the muster lines on his baby. I can feel stuff happening in my body again. <laughs> they actually found a hot dog costume? Okay. <laughs> I would like to feel things happening in my body. Are there more hot dog costumes? Why would Amelia Earhart... Why would Amelia Earhart have two hot dog costumes? Not it. You're gonna have to face to face. You're probably gonna die. There's nothing me or the hot dog costume can do for you now. What the... The hell? Right. Roar! Oh, that's on. Roar! What the hell? Roar! Who says bears? Oh. Bears! Oh crap, how'd they find us? They couldn't have tracked us. We've been stealthy like shadows. Something must have brought them here. There's only two things that attract bears. Honey! And menstruating women! My god, I knew it! Somehow I always knew! Pyro! <laughs> Menstruating women. <laughs> Look how many shirts he has on. Oh, and there's a lot of honey there. Stop blocking the door! Good lord, the plane is filled with honey. Amelia Earhart's famous sweet tooth has doomed us all. <laughs> Quickly, men! We need to eat this honey before the bears get here. You're just covering yourself in it. Quickly, men! Eat the honey off me before the bears get here! <laughs> Later. Oh god, oh god, I'm so full over here. How many crates we eat so far? Uh, approximately none. We are three jars into the first crate. Plan B, we need to fix this plane before the bears get here. Soldier, I, I don't think the damn bears are coming. Aw, oh, hell. It's a bear! Patak! Whoa! Whoa, what the heck? Patak! Scout! No! If you need me to hold your guts in and scream at the sky, I have a speech prepared! Nah, I'm fine. Th those must have been Amelia Earhart's bones. This hot dog is- f this hot dog's full of her. <laughs> shake, shake. 
Hey, I felt the skeleton's worth some money. Whoa! Swish. Ah, that hurt, you stupid bear. All right, that does it. Come get your hot dog, pal, because I'm going to relish this. Good one, son. Thanks, soldier. I remember I did that line. Put up. I am the best at hitting bears. We did this on the on the YouTubes. Oh come on! All these bones in the hot dog costumes in Siberia. Wait. Oh come on! All of the bones and all the hot dog costumes in Siberia. I gotta get the one that's made out of eggshells. <laughs> oh, crap! More bears. Come on, Amelia. Where's your Where's your other femur? Damn it! Nothing but finger bones down here. Soldier, what the hell? You gonna jump in here or? Or... <laughs> Don't worry, Scout. I am nude and covered in <laughs> honey again. <laughs> Let's grapple some damn bears. See Naked Tales of Valor, number one through number 37, Scout's Worst Double Dates, number 14. <laughs> Rah! Hutta! Next step. <laughs> Whoa, slow down, youngster. You might trip and start a fire. And fire is nobody's friend. <laughs> he fucking axed the bear. That, that's enough, Pyro. You're launching bone shards everywhere. Some of us are naked here. Heroes win. Bing. Hey, Scout's number one on the leaderboard. I guess they're tied. Oh, hey, it's heavy. Way to show up two minutes late to fight, pal. Sorry we killed all the bears in Siberia for you. These, uh, these bears, what is he, how does he sound like? Ah, doctor! I can't talk like that. Let me just be deep in Russian. These bears were babies. Yeah, yeah, everything's a baby, you. Roar! No. These bears were babies. Her babies. Oh, this should be good. <laughs> Some idiot stuffed his costume with organs instead of cotton. There's even a beaten heart in here. Wait, never mind. It stopped. Thump. Show that bear who's boss, son! Death. Pyro, I think Scout's dead. Maybe we should... Oh, never mind. A fight's about to start. And the bear killed every last one of them. In quotes. Except for Claude Huggins, who hid under the corpse of his wife until the bear left. Too scared to leave, he founded a town in the very spot of the mauling on top of her skeleton and called it Hugginsville. In 1847, a wandering pack of teenage bullies forced him to rename it Two Farts. After they left, he was too scared to change it all the way back. Thus, Two Fort was born. Wow, this is fascinating. Are all the books about Two Fort? Nope, that's the one I wrote. No, oh wait, nope. That's the only one. I wrote it. Well, I hope you're as good at burning books as you are at writing them, Terry, because the rest of these are going to have to go. Oh, hello, can I help you? Oh, I forgot this guy's voice. It's like air. Air, I doubt, but... Here go. Oh, I doubt it, but here it go but here goes. I'm looking for census records dating back to 1850. In the room marked census records, there's just a vat of what I hope to God is fudge. Oh gosh, I wish I could help you two, but some crazy lady came in here last week as asking for our 1850 census, and then she burned it. We do have a book about Two Fort, though, or if you're interested in a non-about Two Fort book, you could always leave because you're not welcome here. How is one mousy little girl and a group of morons constantly one step ahead of us? Bear! Bear! 
something in a bear's mouth. Tonk. Food. Mr. Doe, is there anything else I could get you? Some wine, or I could take your helmet, or I could give you a towel, or... Soldier, put on, put pants, soldier, put pants on. Please, you are starving, at least eat something. No can do, heavy's communist mom. I came from America. This broth will not nourish me, even though it does smell delicious. Ah, well, it should, soldier, for that is the way of all temptations. Hello, everyone. It is I, George Washington. Hold on, soldier. It is I, Benedict Arnold. Do not make my mistake. I carry the chains of the soup I did not eat in life, and history has made me a monster for it. Eat the soup, soldier. I cannot tell a lie. Yes, it is true, Benedict Arnold's greatest crime was not eating soup, but the circumstances were vastly different, soldier. Allow me to explain at great length. Boring moral choice. Hot dog. Soldier, wait! Before you choose! It is I, a big hot dog! I exist in a terrifying food-based limbo because I was not eaten in life! Eat the soup and save my soul! Son, I offered your friend soup and he has been screaming for five minutes. <laughs> ah! ah, and now your other friend is screaming. So he lives. Oh, that was Scout, I guess. So he lives. Zana is ministering to him. I would like it if Zana ministered to him less. Wee! <laughs> Ah, despise my dad, despise my dad! Oh, thank God, not a memory, just a dream. What the hell? Hello, little man, I am Zana. I have been trapped in this frozen prison since I was a girl. You are the first man I have seen in 20 years. Today, we make sex. What? I mean, yeah, yeah, I'll make you some sex, all right. They call me the sex maker. Why, you ask? I did not ask this. Well, I'm gonna tell you anyway, because I am pretty much the best at sex. Footnote to that statement, some other things that I am the best at. Why will you not shut up? It feels like I'm shutting up. Why am I still talking? Hmm. Yes, good. More of this. Hey, 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 dummy. What, did you forget about me over here? I don't see no ring on this on these fingers, Miss Pauline. In fact, I've known you for about six years now, and I'm pretty sure we're not even dating. You got that right. But you know what book smart ladies like me find sexier than anything? Waiting patiently for me to change my mind. Yeah, the waiting game works every time. Eventually, yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Dap. Rip. Meanwhile, Xana, <clears throat> there's, there's something I need to tell you. Eventually, this is going to be pretty devastating, so I'll break it to you in stages. Ugh, how can tiny men hold so many words? Blah, 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 blah. You. Back off, lady. I'm meeting both of these. Make love to me. Okay. <laughs> we have caught dinner. It is bear again. Brother, why did you catch a bear? You knew we were out hunting. It was not planned, Yana. I will explain later, but for now we have company. Some men I used to work with are here. <laughs> Spy. Spy. Sniper, <laughs> he, like, he has he has no chest there, and he's all like ripped. Is that true? Hello, ladies. Let me apologize in advance because I'm taken. I have a girlfriend now. Pyro, <laughs> with the heart. Sadness ensues. We're getting the team back together. Miss Pollen needs us heavy, and and we need you. You gotta come back. No, I have obligations here to protect my family. I have let them down enough. They must never be put in danger again. This is the last we will discuss this. You will leave in the morning. You know what, brother? You know what, brother? No, we will discuss this more. 
You have protected us all our lives. We can never repay you for all that you have sacrificed for us. So please do not take this the wrong way. But if I have to spend one more day locked in this cabin eating bear meat, I am going to lose my fucking mind, Misha. <laughs> oh my god. Zana, Yana, Zana, Bronislava. I know it is hard, but the people who hurt us before, who took us away, there will always be more like them. If I wasn't here, they would come. They would find you. Misha, men have come. What? While you were away in America, we did not want to worry you. Whoop. I see. But you, but you probably did not make them suffer. Oh, Misha, we did, we did, I promise you. You are just saying this. No, I swear, we butchered them like hogs. Their screams died on their lips. I see. I guess you are all grown-up girls now. Big girls who do not need bossy old Misha anymore. Oh, Misha, you, you are our big brother. You will always look out for us, and we love you for it. But now... You must let us look out for ourselves. Om nom nom nom, bear meat. This mission, it will be dangerous? Oh, yeah, yeah, it will. It pays well. Probably, I forgot to ask. But there will be evil men and we will destroy them. Heck yeah. Then Heavy is back, babies. Hooray, I am back from the bathroom and everyone is happy. I'm going to Paris! I want to see New York! Forget those crap holes! Let's go to America! But you told me you live in Stink Barn. Stink Barn? I wish. No, I'm homeless. But I promise we'll get the biggest Stink Barn money can buy once I'm done with this job. Hmm, what kind of job? Oh, all of my babies are leaving. Here, I packed some bear meat for your trip. Mama, you are co- or, Wait, no, that's him. Mama, you are coming with us. And we are never eating bear meat again. Hugs! Gray Manco. There's a bunch of writing on there that I can't read. Uh, I forget this voice again. I forgot what I was doing this. You come highly recommended, you know. I've promised you a small fortune. And you've delivered nothing. Would you like to know what I think? I think you're just a sorry pack of broken old... We found them three weeks ago. We know what they're up to. And we know where they're going next. Are you... Are you kidding me? You've known the whole time? Why haven't you attacked them, you... F mercenaries fallen! Angry. Team Fortress. Classic. Oh, shit. Shit just got real. And he has a bar of gold. Damn. Okay. We haven't m we haven't moved on them because you don't want them to because you don't want them. You want her. And they don't know where she is yet, but they're close. She'll have to reveal herself soon, and when she does, we'll kill all of them. You'll get your rocks, and we'd better get paid. Men, we're moving out. You'll be briefed on the bird. Remember, these morons are... Hold on. Where's the new guy? Oh, God. Medic voice. A vet, 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 vet. Some sort of German or something? Wait, are we leaving? F what about the baboon uterus? Says. What the hell are you talking about? What baboon uteruses? The, the the one I was the ones I'm sewing into you. I haven't gotten to everyone yet. Uh, can I just say what a pleasure it's been to work on such blank canvases? If I didn't know any better, I'd say your last medic barely experimented or experimented on you at all. I swear to God, if you put a single uterus in my men, oh come on now, it's perfectly safe. I I put these I put three in Greg. You don't hear him complaining. You said you were filling a cavity. I was! So when I made it in your abdomen. Wait, where, where are we going anyway? We're hunting your old team. That a problem? 
a chance to test my latest triumphs against my earlier ex experiments? No, that won't be a problem at all. Boop, boop, boop. Da -na 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 -na. Darling, I'm only going to say this once. I will never work for you. Okay? Now I won't ever say that again. Now tell me what I need to do to get my company back. I've arranged travel for you and Margaret. Your plane leaves in an hour. Oh, it's not a question. That's a statement. End of statement. We got heavy, Miss Polly. Good. Get back across the border. I've got a plane waiting for you in Katsuya. On it. You think he's there in... Oh. Oh, he's definitely here. Australia. Down under, mate. Let's just hope he's happy to see us. To be continued. Da -na -na. This is a sniper scope. He's gonna shoot Miss Pollen. Ah! Oh, wait. I clicked too much. All right. There you go.